Hi, my name is Alyssa and today we're going to be sewing my very first Know Me by Mimi G pattern. We're going to be sewing the ME2003. If you love ruffles, puff sleeves, and cozy sweaters, this is the perfect pattern for you. Let's go sew it. So I'm going to be sewing view B for the sweater, which is the cropped version, and then I'll be sewing view D for the skirt. If you want to sew view C, it's pretty much the same thing, just a longer hem construction and everything sewing it's all the same on the back of the pattern you'll have the suggested fabrics for this pattern you'll have all the notions that you'll need and then here it'll have all the measurements and finish measurements of the pattern and then the different views that you could sew and for notions you'll need elastic for the waistband and four buttons so here are the pattern pieces that we'll need to sew view b and view d for the sweater we'll need pieces nine and ten this is view b so this is going to be the cropped sweater and for the back you'll be cutting on the fold and for the front you'll just be cutting two pieces of this. So for the sweater you'll also need pieces 3, 11, 12, and 13. So for the sleeves I'll be sewing sleeve A and this is piece number 7. For the sleeve you'll need piece 8 and this is going to be the sleeve bands. So for the skirt we'll need pieces 15 and 16. Since this pattern has view C and D, which is the short version and the longer version, I just like to cut out the longer version and then right here where it says cut here for view D, I just fold it so that I have the option to later go back and cut view D. For the skirt, we'll also need piece 17 and this is going to be the casing for the elastic waistband. So our first step is sewing together our bodice. So I will be taking pieces nine and 10 and I will be placing them right sides together. When I'm sewing knits, I like to use clips. It just helps hold everything in place better. I'll be sewing the sides and the tops five eighths of an inch. Now we're going to take the ruffle piece with right sides together. We're going to sew one side and then we're going to hem the bottom half. Now we have our ruffle piece. I base stitched it along the top after I did the hem and we're just going to clip it to the front of the sweater making sure all of our notches match. One thing that I like to do is find out where the center back is so that I can line up the center of the ruffle here and then gather within that so that it gathers nice and even. Once the ruffle is pinned, we're going to go base stitch the ruffle in place. Now that we have the ruffle base stitch to the neckline, we're going to set this aside and we're going to sew the waistband. So for the waistband, pieces 11 and 12, we're going to take the back and with right sides together, we are going to sew it along the sides. Now we are going to be working on the hem of the sweater, so we're going to turn it upside down and we are going to take the waistband and we're going to match the markings here. And then this is going to have a little bit of a stretch to it, 
So we wanna make sure that all of the notches match up perfectly because as we sew, we're gonna be stretching it a bit so that it's more fitted as we wear it. And you wanna make sure all the seams are matching up Okay, now we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and sew five eighths of an inch all the way around. Now we're gonna take piece 13, which is the neck band, and we are going to sew the back center seams right sides together, making sure our notches line up. Okay, once the center seam is sewn here in the back, I am going to go off the instructions a little bit. It says to do it a different way. You can follow the instructions there. However, I'm going to sew each end straight across at 5 8 seam allowance. All right, so once we've done that, we're just going to trim off the corners and turn right side out. Give it a good press so that it's nice and flat. And then we're gonna attach it to the neck band. Okay, now that we have our sweater back, I'm just gonna attach the neck band the same way that I attached the waistband in sewing it here and overlocking it. And I'm making sure all of the notches are lining up as well. Now we're going to take our neck band and sew it all the way around 5 8 seam allowance. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to go give this a press and sew on the buttons. Now that we have the bodice all sewn with the ruffle and the neckline, we are going to sew the sleeves. Okay, so now that we have our sleeves, we're going to gather the top of the sleeve for a little puff. We have our gather stitch sewn at the top of our sleeve. We're gonna lay these right sides together and we're gonna stitch 5 8 seam allowance on each sleeve. Now we're gonna take our sleeve with right sides together. And we're gonna gather our gathering stitch between the notches and then pin the sleeve all the way around. Okay, once the sleeves are all clipped, we're gonna go sew 5 8 of an inch all the way around. Now that the sleeves are sewn in, we are gonna take our sleeve band and with right sides together, we are gonna sew each side. Okay, now we're just gonna take our bands and match up the seams with wrong sides together. On the bottom of the sleeves, we're gonna sew a gather stitch around the wrist, and then we're gonna gather them into the wristbands. Once you're done pinning the sleeve to the sleeve band, you just sew 5 8 seam allowance and you're all finished with the sleeves. Now with the buttons sewn and the sleeves all finished, trim off any loose threads and we are done with the sweater. Now we're going to sew the skirt. So for the skirt, this is going to be the front and the back. 
So we are just going to lay it flat. This is the center back and these are the sides. So we are gonna lay each panel to each side. Then set the back aside and do the same for the front. So 5 8 seam allowance along all the panels except for the front slit where the marking is. We are going to lay the skirt pieces right sides together and sew the side seams. Now that our skirt is sewn together, we are going to work on the waistband and we are going to sew them right sides together on each side, leaving an opening where our markings are. Now that the band is sewn and there's an opening here, we're gonna go wrong sides together, lining up the seams and clipping it. Same on the other side. Making sure all of your notches are lining up. Now with the opening together, this is gonna be the inside of the skirt. So this will be the wrong side. We wanna line it up with the side seam so that it's on the inside of your skirt so that when you flip it up, you won't be able to see this. Then we are going to make sure we line up all of the side seams and notches around this skirt. Okay, and once that's all pinned, we are gonna sew around the waistband 5 8 of an inch. Now we're gonna take our elastic using a safety pin on one end, and we're gonna find the opening and pull the elastic all the way through. I like to pin the opposite end to the seam allowance so that it doesn't pull through and you have to redo everything again. Now I'm gonna zigzag stitch the elastic all the way down to secure it. Okay, once your waistband is sewn in, you're just going to hand stitch this opening close. Try your skirt on to make sure the hem is short enough. I had to shorten mine a bit because I am five foot. And then just finish your hem. you snip all the loose threads you're all finished i love this pattern because it can be worn as a set or individually i hope you enjoyed sewing along with me if you sewed this set be sure to tag me at Alyssa threads and at nomi patterns i would love to see it